up, up next, the, the top marketing trends for 2010. And getting the word out about your product is the goal for every advertiser. But the past couple of years, marketers have moved away from the traditional print and broadcast. Here are now two marketing trend spotters, Marion Salzman, president of North American PR for Euro RSCG, and Brian Morrissey, digital editor for Adweek, to talk about the trends they see for 2010. Guys, good to see you. Marion, let me start with you. I, I got to assume social media is the thing of the next decade, the next year, the ten, next 10 years. But what about Absol it? That's the easy part. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think that it, the social part is the given. We're going to be completely connected, tied in. Um, it's going to be the way that we're going to lead people one-on-one um, -on -one to connect with um, the brands, the products, the new information. And they're going to lead each one of us to whatever we're going to be interested in. It's not going to be paid anymore. It's going to be persuade. So just to clarify, what exactly then would your staff be doing? They're at, you've now got teams of people for all your clients sitting there watching Twitter, watching Facebook, reading what people say, and in real time responding to criticism, redirecting inquiries. I mean, this, this pushes everything right down the... Down the the strata, if you like, doesn't it? Well, it's all about making news, putting your um, clients into the cultural zeitgeist. It's about being part of wherever the news is being created, co-creating the news, being part of the discussion. It's about figuring out who the influencers are, because at the end of the day, everybody's media. The Obama children, really, I would argue, created J. Crew's summer last summer. They wore those ballet slippers, mm -hmm. and it generated all kinds of pent-up demand. For who knew you needed gold ballet slippers for your, for your children, but you did. Brian, you're with Adweek. You're the digital editor. So where does social networking play into advertising? How does it play into revenues next year and over the next decade? Well, I think a big trend that I'm seeing right now is what I call a sort of journalism 101 meets marketing, and that's show, don't tell. And just picking up on what Marion said, uh, what that means is, you know, consumers have been hearing from brands for so many years about how great they are and things like that. But increasingly, brands are needing to prove that to consumers. And that's through actually providing useful services or doing good in the community or actually having great customer experience. I mean, take a brand like Zappos. It's basically been built. The shoe built, company. The shoe company basically was built not necessarily through advertising and saying how great it was, but through providing great, exceptional customer service. And we're going to see more and more brands doing that. I mean, we just saw uh, Pepsi decided to pull out of the Super Bowl after over two decades and devote the money that it was going to spend to actually doing good in the community through a social media program in which they're going to give away $20 million okay. to uh, projects that are suggested by consumers. Let me just ask one question, Brian. You saw news today which had to do with terrorism and threats, disruptions, violence. We saw it on aircraft. Is there anything that's affecting social media that's coming out of this develop, these developing ideas of violence and terrorism that might alter people's behavior? Well, I think there's always a risk of that. I mean, look, everything has good sides and, like, downsides. I know coming here, for example, I found out about Times Square being closed because of a terrorist threat through Twitter, not through uh, a news mm -hmm. source. And I think more and more people are seeing that. So they'll, they'll of course, be, you know, because these are, are tools that can connect people together, they can be used for good and for bad. But, you know, they're mostly just tools. Thank you, Marion. Thank you, Brian. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.